Staff morale is the confidence, enthusiasm and discipline of people at a particular time in the workplace. Hello, Kelly Martin, founder of Ripple, employee experience activator, recruitment specialist and talent agent. I've worked for a business with low, very low morale, and I've worked for businesses with good to amazing staff morale, and I know which one I wouldn't work for again. Low staff morale plays out in numerous ways. For example, people don't greet each other with a smile or they don't greet each other full stop. They play the blame game. They whisper about and criticize others. They are often late or taking sick leave. Staff turnover rates are high in the business. People are angry and customers feel neglected and dissatisfied. It is no surprise that low staff morale cripples a business. It affects employee attitudes, diminishes productivity, compromises workplace safety, negatively impacts the business focus and decision making, gnaws away at co-worker and management communication and relationships, and leads to low attendance, punctuality issues, and employ low employee retention rates. All of this hits the business profitability profoundly. So what do you do if you think your business has a low morale? Firstly, understand that employees are not the cause of low staff morale. Low morale is the result of sub substandard environmental, procedural and co uh, co cultural working conditions. Secondly, understand that a high morale in the workplace is critical to the success of a business. And thirdly, commit to improving staff morale and communicate this to your team. Ask for their support and commitment to helping you build a stronger team. Now you have committed to making changes, there are seven steps forward. Number one, communicate with your employees and understand their areas of concern in the workplace. Number two, rank these from their most to least concerning areas. Thirdly, develop a strategy to activate change. Number four, share the strategy with your teams, ensuring they understand it and agree with it and are willing to support it. Number five, agree upon a timeline to roll out the strategy. Number six, activate. And number seven, communicate with your employees throughout the process and measure the level of improved morale at every phase. Staff morale is essential to your business. Improving it is a process, but you will begin to reap the rewards as soon as you take the first step into it. So I encourage you to embrace it with conviction and commitment. Many business leaders have found their time and focus overstretched throughout 2020, and this is likely to be the same in 2021. And although many already understand staff morale is critical to their business resilience, it can be difficult to set a place at the table for it. If this is you, this is our area of expertise at Ripple. So contact us so we can alleviate some of your pressure and deliver results for you. Our contact details are on our website, so please phone me for a chat. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Stay safe.